A Fairy Tale, The Little Beetle Once upon a time, there was a beetle. Everyone knows that beetles rarely fulfill their dreams. But only a few know that almost every beetle has such a dream. Even the smallest insect. Some dream of becoming excellent hunters and always get their own food. Some want to grow the strongest wings to fly as high as possible and see the world around them better. Some dream of the warmest and safest home, one in which no one could disturb their peace and which could shelter from any weather. Everyone's dreams are different. Big and small. It is almost impossible to find those among the beetles which would not fulfill their dreams. All beetles are united by hard work and perseverance. There is absolutely no bug that suffers from laziness or even has a bad mood. On the contrary, they are busy adjusting and improving their lives every day and every minute. However, all the beetles are united by one unpleasant and even sad circumstance. The danger of not living is to see the day when they at least try to make their dream come true. That is why most of the beetles were active but a little shy. They passed on stories about the dangers of leaving their home and wandering far from home from generation to generation. It is especially dangerous to try to cross the road. What is really out there? It is even dangerous to fly over it. A constant stream of cars rushing at great speed is a sure path to death. Swash! And only a strange smudge will remain. Splat! And any bug will turn into a strange wet spot. A beetle named Luca knew a lot of stories like that. Not only about fast cars and the danger of the road, but also about a simple human shoe. Ruthless and careless. He knew that although beetles rarely come across humans, there are those humans who, seeing a beetles on the road, crush them for no reason. Stomp. Bang. And you are a goner. Luke understood everything, but something inside his little body left him with doubt. A sensation, a call, a warm and bright light shining inside him. Every time he thought about it, he was filled with pleasant excitement and anticipation of something very significant and good. This was his dream. A dream of moving to the other side of the garden, where he lived with his family and many other insects. Perhaps this dream was not destined to come true. Maybe Luke, like everyone else, would have lived a quiet life in a familiar and safe place, never trying to rekindle this light within himself. But life, even if it is just a beetle's life, is full of surprises. Sometimes pleasant, sometimes not so much. And sometimes, it was hard to distinguish them from one another. After all, every circumstance leads to something new, and something new very often is not only a danger but an opportunity. At least that's what Luke thought. And he grew stronger in his thoughts, even more, when rumors spread through their flower garden that the flower bed would soon be dug over and a playground would be installed in its place. What to do, a human child always demands something. This time, it was a swing. Humans think the beetles don't understand anything. But this time, it wasn't true. Luke lived his ordinary life but the day of the direst danger was approaching. Beetles in the flower bed began to panic. Still, no one wanted to cross the two garden paths to escape. No wonder, humans walked the garden paths every now and then. Or even worse, children were running. Luke has heard stories that very often, it is children who are especially cruel. But he really didn't want to believe it. 
It seemed to him that as soon as he lifted his tiny head up and whoever it was, he would understand that under his boot there was not an ordinary beetle but a harmless living creature. He often imagined it a meeting with a human and very much hoped that it would not be the last moment of his life. Besides, Luke understood one more thing. He understood that even the bravest and the most courageous creature sometimes finds it difficult to decide. So he, too, despite all his determination to get over to the other side, hesitated and doubted for some time. What if, before stepping into uncharted territory, he would be immediately trampled by a human boot? Even if no one kills him on purpose, how often do humans look under their feet? More so, they are most certainly not worried about such a small insect like him. They walk along with their heavy human steps, without even noticing bugs. Or the fast wheels of a garden wheelbarrow will leave only a barely noticeable trace of a bug on the track. Just think about it. After a couple of hours, no trace of you will be left if you risk crossing the path. How scary! But on the other hand, how glorious would it be if he did succeed? Perhaps then, other beetles and insects would have believed in themselves and would have followed him. So he stood at the edge of the flower bed for a long, long time and still could not bring himself to venture into the unknown. You will disappear, bees buzzed. You'll get SMUS shed, wasps hissed. Do not even start, you, quitterarara, the dragonfly crackled so very close to him. It's easy for them, the beetle thought. They could fly anywhere, wherever they wanted. So he became even sadder. Can't he survive such an adventure? Will the rest of the beetles die in fear without trying to find a new home? It is not known how much time Luke thought about the circumstances and consequences of his decision. Then, finally, his eyes were attracted by a strange movement to the right of his favorite rose bush. Out of nowhere, one by one, ants appeared. One, and the other, and another. They were much smaller than he was, but they moved with remarkable coherence and agility. Hello, ants. No time to waste, beetle. We advise you not to linger, reluctantly responded one of the ants while perfectly fitting into the moving line. But, why? The beetle was larger than the ant so it had more chances of becoming a wet smush on the ground. Nevertheless, he stood still and looked at the receding ants, who managed to drag supplies on their backs. And that's when it dawned on him. What if he convinces the insects to go together? Together they would be much more noticeable. Together they could draw attention and survive. If a human does not care about one beetle, he cannot be entirely indifferent to a hundred organized insects. Luke liked his idea so much, it seemed like he got off the ground for a second. So, he hastened to share the idea with the other bugs. They needed to hurry. There was very little time. Living in a flower bed has one big advantage, among other benefits. News travels incredibly fast here. Of course, one would think of dragonflies. Everyone considers them the biggest gossips. But such is their nature, to rattle about anything and everything they heard here and there. That is why... After just a few minutes, the beetle was surrounded by dozens of insects. Then, after a while, almost the entire flower bed bug population gathered around him to listen to what seemed to be the most absurd proposal. This is our life, my friend. To perish at hands or feet of a hummer man, muttered the praying mantis. 
Nobody cares about us, the green caterpillar whined. I will never become a butterfly, cried her friend with gray stripes on the back. They never liked us, complained the chorus of spiders. The beetle stood, surrounded by indignant neighbors in the flower bed. He was running out of words. It seemed that he had already given all the most convincing arguments. Then, somewhere in the distance, wheelbarrows rattled. Doom was near. Sometimes, there is simply no other way out. He buzzed into the crowd with all his might. We must go forward because death is definitely waiting for us here. We will be leveled with the ground. Everyone considers us silly insects. Pathetic pests. And rightly so, if we didn't even try to escape. Luke was angry and determined. He stepped back, realizing that he was not at all like everyone around him at that moment. But, if he has even one chance in a million, he will take it. He climbed onto the curb and closed his eyes. Insects hummed behind him. Whatever happens? Luke disappeared behind the last obstacle, stepping towards the fear. The voices behind him abruptly died away. The beetle was crawling along the path, a strange surface, he thought, smooth but warm. And not scary at all, sunny and light. Stomp blam. Stomp blam. It rang out somewhere very close. Luke's eyes suddenly darkened. Or not. What's happened? He could not understand anything. Finally, the beetle stopped, seemingly alive. Looking around, he realized that some kind of shadow had covered him. And a shadow that appears suddenly is always bad for a beetle. He couldn't look up, so he narrowed his eyes and lay snug. Whatever happens... Dying because of doing nothing is worse than dying halfway to your dream, he thought. Dad, look how beautiful. What is there, my girl? Look, a bug. Where? Stop. Stop. Careful, you'll crush him now. Luke opened his eyes. Huge blue eyes were looking at him. They smiled. Hello, Beetle. I am May. Do not be afraid. I just want to see you. FFF, Luke tried to mumble something. Wow, really cute. A second pair of eyes stared at him. The eyes were even larger than the first ones. Luke had never before heard anything about himself. And even more so, he did not even think that he could be beautiful. An ordinary beetle, like everyone else, he always thought. Come on, go, bug, or the builders will crush you. I will have a new swing very soon. Blue eyes gestured in the direction of the flower bed, where Luke was in a hurry to get to. The beetle turned around and looked in surprise at his friends left behind. Several dozen insects were sitting on the edge of the curb, just like him a minute ago. Also, doubting and fearing of change. But staying almost certainly meant death. So the ants, beetles, bugs, and caterpillars, one after another, went towards him. Look, Daddy! They understand everything. Step aside, step aside. Luke stood and could not believe his eyes. All the insects crawled towards him. Towards him and his new home. Two pairs of eyes, meanwhile, moved a little further away but continued to watch. Especially the blue ones. Luke had never seen human eyes so close before. He could not even imagine that they could be so big. 
Big end. Kind. A beetle named Luke turned around and hurried into his new life. And behind him, the others crawled in an even strip. He thought how good it is to stand out from the crowd sometimes. How good it is to be the one who takes the plunge first. Each insect moved to a new flower bed, safe and sound. So that just in a few moments, they could begin to explore their new habitat. And what about the beetle? The beetle named Luke lived a very long life and a happy one. As happy as his bug life could be.